Hello everyone. Today I'll show you how to change the color of an object without the need of the pen tool. The first object is going to be this white cup. We are going to make it red. To do that, we are going to choose the quick selection tool. Then click on select subject. If it does not work correctly, we are going to see how to do this with a second picture. By the way, it works the best on pictures with high contrast. When your object is selected correctly, click on the half white and half gray circle on the bottom right hand corner. Click on it and select solid color. With the color picker, choose your desired color. You can still change it by double clicking on the color layer. Then go to the blending options, it's over the layers. Then choose a blending mode. For this one, I choose Darken. There you go. On the second picture it's a bit longer to do. Do the same procedure as shown with the cup. When you've selected it. Then you need to go to select and mask next to the select subject button. If you can't find it, go to select then select and mask or use the shortcut Alt plus Ctrl plus R. For this one, we are going to use the second and third brush. The second one is the Refine as Brush tool. It's used here to select the M3 badge on the car. The third one is your main brush. You can adjust its size on the menu on the top. The plus is to exclude something from the selection. The minus is to add something to it. To zoom press Alt in the mouse wheel. If it's not working, check that there's no blue box on the right. Otherwise, press Enter in it to remove the selection. Modify the size of the brush until it fits the area. My hardness is set to are done, press on OK, then press on the gray and white circle. Select solid color. The color picker will open. Choose a color, and press OK. Then you can also choose a color gradient. But before you can add it, you have to go back a few steps, so you have your selection again. To do that, you can use Ctrl plus Z until you're there. If you want to go a step forward, go to Edit and choose Redo. You can also use the shortcut Shift Ctrl and Z. Then go back to the circle symbol and choose your color gradient. Choose one of the gradients in the different categories. You can also make your own. Then choose your blending mode. I choose Linear Burn on this one. You are finished. I hope you liked it. See you.